Hey guys, Killcam180 here, and today I'm going to be doing another um, video for you on Mineplex, and I've just been thrown off. Uh, crap. Um, wait, there we go. Um, I'm just going to you know, actually gonna do it. Um, Alright, first of all, I'm just going to jump on to one in the quiver. Um, it's like one in the chamber from Call of Duty. Some of you may have played it. Um, if you haven't, then you'll see very shortly what you do. Um, Let's go. Alright, so, well, basically, the aim of the game is it's the first 20 kills. Um, you get, you start off with one arrow, a bow, and an iron axe. Um, if you get a kill with an arrow, it's an instant kill, no matter where you hit, whatever the power instant kill with the bow and for every kill you get one arrow so you could technically stockpile all your arrows by using your axe um, I don't know if you get um, to keep your arrows if you die but yeah basically it's the first 20 kills so yeah it should be a pretty good game we've got nine players now so let's go um, so, well, let's just see what we can do. Alright, so as you can see, I've got an iron axe and a bow, and when the game starts, I will get my arrow. There we go. As you can see, people instantly starting with their... Ah, she got me. Cheeky bugger. Very nice sidestep on my arrow as well. I swear somebody just teleported up there, but okay, we'll 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 go with it. Oh yeah, I also get to do that. What the? They're flying! I swear. Son of a mega kill, which is five kills. All right. Oh, I missed him. <laughs> Alright, where's the next guy? Where's my next victim? Come on. Got it. Yeah, they ain't got nothing on <laughs> None of you guys got my skill? What the? <laughs> ah, maybe it was him up there. As you can see, when you die, you do get an arrow back. He just came out of nowhere. Come on, get up. Oh my god. Die, you little bitch.
guys, you know I should have. That was a bit wild. Try, but I thought I'd give it a go. Face cake one. All right, so well, I'm just gonna quickly get rid of that. And crap, wrong one. Um, back to Mineplex. Join server. All right. Um, next off, I'm going to do a survival game. Uh, just quickly jump onto that one. Man, um, oh, at least one, at least somebody said hi this time, eh? They didn't say that anything last time, so yeah. Alright, um, so basically the idea of survival games is to be the last person surviving, hence the name. It's basically um, Hunger Games. Um, you start off in the middle, run to the centre, grab anything you can get, and then just get the hell out of there before you die, basically. Um, so yeah, quickly run in there. Grab an iron and an iron in it. And yeah, that's what happens. As soon as somebody gets a weapon, they start attacking you. So there you go, I got a kill. And I need to try and hope to god my health regenerates before somebody else finds me. Because that was a pretty nasty fall I took to catch him, but I wanted that. I wanted that armor. Alright, so let me do a quick review of what armor I've got. Okay, I've got leather boots, chainmail, leggings, and an iron hat. Okay, that's not too bad for now. Hopefully I'll be able to find a sword of, of, any, of some description. Even if it's just a wooden one, it's better than a wooden axe, to be fair. So, well, uh, having said that, a wooden axe is better than using your fist. <laughs> Alright, um... Come on, chests. Um, that's some as well. On this server, you can't destroy blocks. It's like, if I had a, um... Pickaxe, I couldn't um, use them to mine up some of this stone to make a stone sword, um, which is kind of annoying. But as you can see, you do have chests, and some of them aren't as crap as the one that I just looked in them where I just got bread and leather boots. Some of them you do get some pretty decent stuff in them. I'll just quickly run over to you. Yep, there you go, golden axe. That's a little bit better. Can live with that. Uh, there's another one there. There you go, stone sword. I'll just grab that rotten flesh just in case of an emergency. Yes. There we go. It's starting to get there now. Just quickly while nobody's around. And this one there. Look. As you can see, there are areas where chests are very plentiful. Yeah, not really worth it, but it's better than any of them getting hold of it. 
another man's junks, uh, another one man's junks, another man's treasure, treasure, and all of that. And to get my words out properly, then. Um, okay, apparently there isn't a door to that. Apparently it's just some random monument building thing. Oh crap! I'm turning. Oh crap! No, I ain't going that way because there's two people over there and they're not attacking each other, so they're probably teamed. So I'm just gonna quickly go across this bridge. Quite a nice bridge, I have to admit. Crap! They've seen me. I'm gonna run up here. Alright. Either it was extremely easy to lose them. How can I go for my full full gold armor? That'll look quite nice. Um if you can't kinda tell from that I um I tend to watch um another YouTuber called the Beijing Canadian. Um he always has he always tries to get gold armor or lingerie armor, which is what the server is renamed chain armor, being as it obviously looks slightly like lingerie. That's fair enough, I'd rather wear that as armor than actual lingerie. Just empty thing in there. Webs. Can we break these? Yes, we can, but it's not really much point because I don't have silk touch, so I can't use them and slow people down with them. Alright. Oh god, no. Oh god, no. Get away from me. Um, just in case none of you, um, you guys don't know, that's called the deep freeze. If you get stuck in that, you're as good as dead. I've only ever managed to escape from it once, and that was by sheer luck. It's extremely hard um, to escape from. And when I say escape, I don't mean like where how it was then, where I, where I saw it coming just and managed to get away. I mean, when you're actually in it. Um, and basically, you'll just have some really killer throw snowballs thrown at you, which will kill you within four seconds, something like that. Very bad. Stay out of there. <laughs> it's the best advice I can give you. Just, just, just the bloody chest plate I'm after now, eh? Come on. Clear up my inventory a little bit here. Uh, screw it, actually. Come back, eat food. Alright, let's go. I need a compass, really. I could find out where people are. Oh, yeah, um. A really cool thing about the um, Axeman class is this. I can throw my axes. Um, and yes, they do do damage. I don't know how much damage they do because I've never hit somebody and then asked them afterwards um, how much damage they do. They do. Chicken, excellent. Um, so yeah, basically it is just survive. Let's have a look under there, see if there's a chest under there, no. Um, I'm surprised it hasn't said we can start a deathmatch yet. We may do it soon. More food, definitely. Never have too much food on this. Iron ingot. Wait, if I... Ah, oh, damn it! I got rid of my sticks earlier, didn't I? And that could have made a bloody iron sword. Right, 
Let's try and find a chest with some more sticks in. And then a crafting table. I'm kind of, I'm quite surprised I haven't run into anyone other than that guy that I saw right at the beginning. In all honesty, normally I'd have run into a few people by now. Normally, to be well, to be fair, normally I'd be dead by now. I'm not great at survival games, I have to admit. Sorry, bear with me. Uh, itchy ears and can headphones don't mix. Alright, where is it? Oh crap, wrong way. Don't go in there. Run away. M2. M2. Oh, diamond. Find one more of them and then a stick and I've got a diamond sword. That'll be good. Of course, as it always is, the other players are going to have loads of diamond by the time I get to them. As is always the way. And then there's just me and my mic, not even um, same armor. Just thrown together armor. I have a really bad feeling I'm being followed, so let's just go have a quick look. Nope. Oh, there they are. There's some people. I'm not sure if they're teaming or I'm just gonna stay crouched. Gone it. See. Nope, they're not teaming, so what I'll do is I'll creep in like this. <laughs> Holy fridge! was that? Ah, I got killed with the deep fruit. Oh wait, hang on. Stone sword. Yeah. It was mainly deep fruits that killed me. Um, so yeah, that was survival games. Um, and I will quickly show you... Where is it? There. Dragons. Bloody show you. Thank you. Okay. Ah, oh, no. <laughs> I'm watching an entire game. Put me on that one. Excellent. Alright. Basically, on this one, the idea is to be the last alive from the dragons. Um, you cannot um, hurt anyone else or the dragons, obviously. Uh, you get three kits. You got the coward kit, which is what I'm going to have to be because I haven't got enough gems. Um, you right click with the axe, um, that one is you get, you can actually make them turn, oh, which one am I on, um, oh, village, I think, a sky village, that's it, this is, this is a good map, I, I kind of like this map, 
there. Oh, yeah. Ooh, we have got Marvin's work now. Oh god, there you go, look at that. Just absolute destruction wherever they go. Oh god, one of them's gonna attack me, I can see it. Please don't, please don't I wanna go over to them guys. Oh god, no, I'm not going. Oh crap, no, no, no! Shit! God damn it! Whoa! Jesus Christ! Whoa! It's just an absolute kind of where do you go? Oh my god! And surprisingly nobody has died yet! Back there, turn it on the 3D so I can see around me. We have the first casualty. Is there any buildings left? Oh shit, no! Come on! No! No! There you go. Uh, that was Dragon. I just fell down a hole. Um, Alright. As I said, guys, this is Mindplex, and that was Dragons, Survival, and One in the Quiver. Um, I will put a link to, the, well, I won't put a link to it, but I'll put the IP address, which is eu.mindplex.com, um, in my description. Um, if you want to go and check it out, go and check it out. Um, and yeah, we'll get back to you. Thanks.